our next great discovery to Sir Isaac Newton, who was born in England the same year that Galileo died. Legend has it that Newton was relaxing in an orchard one day when he saw an apple fall from a tree. This simple incident caused him to wonder why the apple had fallen to earth while the pale August moon continued to sail contentedly overhead. It was a eureka moment of insight for the young man. He realized that the same gravitational force acted on the apple and moon alike. If you think about it, you get the feeling that all through this apple orchard, there's some force that's pulling the apples down. And what was really great about it was that he extended it beyond the apple orchard and all the way out to the moon. He realized that this force was everywhere, and this was something that nobody had really thought about before. Newton reasoned that as the moon tries to travel in a straight line in space past the Earth, the Earth's gravitational force pulls the moon towards it. This keeps the moon trapped in orbit around the Earth. But the moon pulls on the Earth too, with its own gravitational force. Newton had discovered what is called the law of universal gravitation. Universal because the relationship applies to all bodies in the cosmos, including apples, moons, and planets. When the gravitational force of a large body, like the moon, acts upon the Earth, big things can happen such as the ebb and flow of the Earth's oceans. The water in the ocean that's near the moon feels a greater pull than the water that's on the other side of the Earth, far from the moon. So it gets pulled out a little bit. And then as the Earth rotates, there's this kind of bulge in the water. And as the Earth rotates against it, it gets higher water and lower water. Newton's recognition that all objects have their own gravitational force was a landmark discovery in science. But as our next discovery shows, he was far from finished. To many people, Sir Isaac Newton is physics, and it's largely because of a series of three books he wrote which contain Newton's second great discovery, The Laws of Motion. The laws explain the movement of all physical objects. To help understand the three laws of motion, Consider ice hockey. It's simple enough. You hit a hockey puck and it just keeps sliding off across the ice. You can see that on a frictionless surface, it'll just pretty much keep going indefinitely. When you hit your stick against the puck, it accelerates it. And the nature of that acceleration that gets it from being standing still up to speed is explained by the second law, or rather you can calculate it using the second law. The third law says that when you hit the puck with the stick, uh, the stick gets the force equal and opposite to the puck. Or to put it another way, if one of the hockey players punches the other one in the face, he's as likely to break his knuckles as the other guy's jaw. Newton's laws of motion were a bold insight into the mechanics of how the universe works. They established the foundation of what is now known as classical physics.